My name is Zenobia Bailey, and I'm from Seattle, Washington, originally, and I live in Harlem. I am a fiber artist and a cultural activist. Art, to me, is like um, a psychological uh, encyclopedia. I go in and out of what art is, depending on who I'm speaking to. So art is um, it's kind of like a shapeshifter. I make art to stay sane, to um, be centered and be able to reflect on myself, um, my psychological state, you know, it's a psychological mapping of where I am, where I'm trying to go, and um, it's a way of um, expressing um, and growing, it's a way of growing, it's almost like going to a gym, you know, I create something and if it really communicates where I am and where I'm trying to go, it's almost like a muscle that I got. It's kind of therapeutical, you know, to me. Um, it's a way of um, identifying or becoming visible and communicating without having to verbally communicate, you know, who I am and what I'm about and, you know, another language and all like that. It's, it's, a, it's an exploration. Africa has influenced my work in a very unconscious way. I don't really even think about, you know, trying to do anything with an African aesthetic to it. It just comes out that way. My undergraduate degree is in industrial design, design for mass production, and I didn't go into that field as a profession because of my strong African aesthetic. I really liked getting into the African mythology. I think that works more for me than the textiles itself, the storytelling and the, and the songs and the fables and everything, because I, I think I, from those, that's where I get my textures and my stories and my philosophy and my direction. Some of Africa has a very contemporary, I mean, very traditional, but then within that tradition, there's a lot of futuristic um, elements to um, the aesthetic. I have something I want to resolve and that affects um, the work or the project that I'm working on. It's almost like a, a talisman or, um, or an amulet or, or magic wand or something like that or a magic carpet. You know, that's, that's, that's how I move with the pieces that I create, where I'm trying to get to. You know, this is, this is serious business. It may look like, you know, <laughs> uh, some kind of um, decorative or surface design or something, but I'm trying to break out. <laughs>